We'd also like to take the opportunity to welcome home any active duty military personnel. In fact, we have one who has come to Lowell to help surprise one of our graduates on her special day. Rachel Nall, could you please stand so your brother Chris can congratulate you on your graduation. Well, you gotta, you gotta wait for everyone else. Oh, look at this person! Oh, what could it be? You're tall enough to stand. Oh my I got a good place to stand. No, over here, over here, over here. I had a good place no, over, to okay, stand. No, okay, but stand over here. Stand over here. Kenley, over here, baby. Okay, you guys ready? Go. Start unwrapping. Carter, stand over there. Stand over here. Why? Because just stand over there. your best present ever. Let me hear it. 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 Let
<laughs> Don't drop it, child. Don't drop it. You might need to do that outside because it's too heavy. Okay. Well, open your eyes. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got home from the airport. I'm surprising my mom from a month home from, like, a month off from the army. Here we go. Here we go. You got the car. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm Gotcha. <laughs> Tears of joy. <laughs> Laugh. the person who came the farthest to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you help me welcome Navy CB Culinary Specialist First Class, Steve Kioski. Steve is returning from Iraq after 10 months of active duty. Now that's what I call a family reunion. Uh -huh.
And welcome back. A U.S. Marine from Arroyo Grande returned home this week after spending the last several months in Japan and Korea. Amanda Starantino was there for the homecoming and she joins us live from our newsroom with more on that. Amanda. Dan, this homecoming didn't happen at the airport like usual. This one was at an Arroyo Grande Elementary School as the sergeant's next mission was to surprise his little sister. This is for Isaac. Hours away from putting fourth grade behind her and jumping right into summer vacation. It was just a normal day at school for Cheyenne Perlesnik. Little did the 10 year old know a dream of hers was about to step into her classroom. Cheyenne's big brother, Sergeant Brandon Perlesnik, reporting for duty. The assignment to see his sister for the first time in seven months. It was the reunion Cheyenne had been waiting for, but never expected. <laughs> this homecoming had been just wishful thinking by Cheyenne. I got all your letters. He did. Hoping her brother's next mission would be to see her. Good. Yeah. She wanted me to. She wrote a letter saying that she wanted me to surprise her um, at school. And she gave me her room number and everything, her teacher. So I didn't think that I would be home in time because her last day of school is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it so happened to be that I could make it in time and surprise her. Cool. Made her dream come true. It did. <laughs> a wish granted, bringing this brother and sister back together. I'm just going to say that I'm so happy for my brother to be home. <laughs> and it was it was amazing. I missed him. Yeah. And Sergeant Prelesnik joined the Marines four years ago and he tells me the last time he really got to spend time with his little sister was when she was still in a car seat. Back to you, Dan. Yeah, she's grown quite a bit since then, no doubt. Thank you, Amanda. And we're told the family is looking forward to spending a little time together at uh, well, a traditional gathering for them, Farmer's Market in San Luis Obispo. Let's get on our bottom. Really loud, Alexis. Dear Evil Stepmother, why are you so mean to me? I wish you were a lot nicer to me. You're really mean to me, and I don't understand. <laughs> Teddy! <laughs> Do you think she knows this guy? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, who is this? You don't have to go come back over here. Who is it? It's your dad. Well hug him. That was a good double take. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes. Is that why you wanted us to wear these shirts? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. 